Hey guys, how's it going? Rob Mods here. This is going to be part four of our beginner guides. If you haven't seen the other ones, go check them out. Talk a lot about shop layout and different resource types and how to optimize different things. Um, but today I want to talk specifically about events. Events is something that happens on a very regular basis that really changes the dynamics of the game. And if you understand how each of them work, how they can benefit you, how they affect the market, that sort of thing, it can really help you um, to excel and um, really take advantage of what happens. So let's talk about each type of event, um, just a few specifics with, with each one when they happen, that sort of thing, and hopefully be able to explain them to you so that you can understand them um, better and take advantage of them. So um, twice a month, a big event happens that's like a guild event or like an individual event. So the guild event is called Lost City of Gold. Basically what this is, it happens once a month. It happens for two days, so 48 hours. It'll start on a Friday night for me in my time zone and go till Sunday evening. And so in this, um, when you're doing quests um, over here in the quest screen, um, there will be an additional option here and it'll it'll be for gold bars and so in this event there's 10 bosses total in order to un unlock each boss then you need to do a certain amount of quests um, successfully in order to unlock it and then each boss gives you additional um, gold bars and when your guild has reached a certain amount of gold bars then um, different rewards and stuff will be unlocked and you'll be able to claim them depending on how much you've actually completed yourself. So really cool event, unique rewards, and just a good way for you to get ahead and get Ascension Shards, which that's kind of the main goal of that event. Not necessarily, but it, it's really helpful to do that. So next is Tower of Titans. This is normally going to happen two weeks after Lost City of Gold, so directly in between in the month. And this is simply an individual event. It, it's um, basically a tower that you're able to climb. It's 48 hours as well, but it's completely dependent on you. So we don't know what changes are going to happen. It's only happened once, but basically what it is is that um, very similar in the quest screen here, uh, there will be another option as well. It'll be over in the events on the left-hand side. And so there's 30 floors total that you can uh, finish, basically. Every third level is a boss, each with their own modifiers and special things that they're good against or weak against or whatever. And each boss that you kill creates extra rewards um, that you're able to claim. Something we noticed with this event is that um, all of these floors were dropping really high tier items and so the market was really flooded with quality items and so for you to go in either with low inventory or at least expecting to be able to get a lot of those or for the market to be cheaper, it's really important to take advantage of that as well as um, there's four difficulties to this tower and it depends on your merchant level which one you get into and so having good heroes is actually a lot more important now that this event is happening. So those are the two main ones. I missed some details but I just don't want to take a ton of time on it but if you've got questions let me know and I'll do my best to fill you in so let's talk about the other events so there's also two other minor events that will happen throughout the week and then on the off weeks for like the 48 hour events there's also normally an event that happens on a weekend from a Friday to a Sunday that's not like the big official event um, but just an in-game perk that's going to be happening as well so let's talk about all of those things right now so all the events that I'm going to be talking about right now are going to be the ones that are generally happening throughout the week. So normally there's two, um, maybe on like the, the Monday to Tuesday and then the, the Wednesday to Thursday type of thing. And then the major event will happen on the weekend, which is always a 48 hour event, whether it's one of the major ones or one of the, the normal ones. So uh, the ones that I'm going to be mentioning now will, will normally be happening, one of them every couple of days. So let's get into them. And I'm just going to go in order here and kind of explain what each one does um, and how to take advantage. So the first one is Customer Frenzy. This is my personal favorite event. I love it. Basically, all that it is is customers come into your shop twice as fast as usual. And so for me, it, somebody who really um, rushes net worth and wants to get through customers really quickly and is able to do it profitably, um, this is essentially saying I can get through double as many uh, customers in the same amount of time and so the effect on the market from this especially is that um, people are able to sell a lot quicker than usual and so the profit margin on items will be a lot lower because people are going through so many more items so basically when we saw that big influx of items from 
um, Tower of Titans not so long ago. Customer Frenzy came like the following day, like 24 hours later. And just from that 24 hours, basically the market caught up because everyone was able to sell through those items so quickly. So that's Customer Frenzy. Next one is Multicraft. So as many of you probably know from uh, different Ascension conversations, um, Multicraft Chance is just part of the game. Uh, a lot of these items will have uh, multi-craft both in their ascensions and when you've mastered an item there's also a multi-craft chance or not mastered sorry but when you've ascended an individual item so let's look here at these boots that i'm crafting and because i've ascended that item i have another 10 percent chance and so um, during this event every single item in the game has an additional 25 percent chance so all the items that i craft have a 40% chance of multi-craft. So 40% of the time, there'll just be an additional free item. So if you craft a legendary, there's a 40% chance that you'll get two legendaries instead, which is crazy. So during this event, generally speaking, higher quality items, like more rare items, will actually become cheaper because it's easier, um, essentially easier to make them, or there's just more items in the game total. So that's really nice. Next one is better deals. This is a lot of people's favorite event. Basically what this is, is there's a 25% boost to any surcharge. So you go to an item um, and you surcharge it. So this is 2.2 million. During the event, this will say 2.75 million because there's an additional 25%. I think that math may be wrong, but basically you're getting an additional 25% gold from every single sale that you're making. If it's surcharged, not just like regular sales, but just the surcharged items. So essentially it's free money. So a lot of people, if they know that this event is coming or they sus suspect it, they'll get really full inventory, like as much stock as they can and sell through it in the event. And this event is an amazing chance to make a lot of money. Keep in mind, enchants during this event specifically because they add so much value to an item like tier 9 enchants that will go right now from 707 to 720k during that event they'll sell for 850k or more so even if you don't have the high energy to be able to sell items you being able to stock up let's say on enchants now when they're cheap and this event is might come tomorrow or tonight or whatever like you don't know when it's going to come like on a weekend or during the week or whatever but if it does and then everyone's buying things for a lot higher price you're able to take advantage so keep that in mind the next one i want to mention is haggle this one is 25 percent less energy to surcharge so if you see surcharge on the side there it's 773 energy but during this event it'll be down to like 600 or 580 or something like that so it's just a lot less energy needed to surcharge so during this event also, it makes it a lot easier for people to be selling items. And so um, for this, the market will generally go up as well just because people are able to sell. And, and players with less energy um, are able to get through higher tier items, so able to make money. So it just kind of messes with that a little bit as well. Next one is Resource Fest. So this one, as you can see there, like the stone and, and um, I, not iron, but you know what I'm saying, the steel and iron, um, you know, your resources obviously accumulate, but during this event, they go up 25% faster. So people are able to craft 25% more items essentially. And so there is a lot more items into the game. This puts a lot of demand on components. So if you think about it, components are generally cheap, but if people are able to, uh, accum um, craft a lot more items, then the resource prices are going to go up a lot quicker because people need more components to keep crafting so you got to keep that in mind next one is top quality so obviously there's a percentage chance that each item that you craft like let's just finish these boots for example those are normal those are normal but there's a percentage chance that when i finish these boots they're not going to be just a normal craft but there's going to be you know some sort of rarity to it from there we go so you know there's there's more rare items obviously than just normal but during this event, there's a 50% greater chance that you're going to be crafting something of higher um, rarity. And so during this event, especially if you're wanting to be buying more rare items for your heroes, this is your best opportunity because there's going to be such an influx of rare items. It makes them a lot more affordable, which is really cool. Uh, next one is fast rest. So when you look over here and you're doing quests, when you finish a quest, obviously your heroes need time to rest up. 
And so this just makes it so that heroes are able to um, recuperate a lot faster, which is cool because then there's more components into the game and it makes them a little bit cheaper and, and easier for you to get those. So that's nice. Next one is fast craft. So as you noticed, I should have saved one for you, but basically um, let's just craft a couple of like lower tier um, knives just so that you can see. So th these are crafting 48 seconds, two minutes. During this, um, everything crafts 25% faster. So that rather than this saying 40 seconds, it would say 30 seconds. So uh, basically, in order to keep up with resources, you're going to have to use less energy to keep that up, which is really nice. It makes it easier to craft a lot more items at the same time uh, and make some more money. So fast craft is just really nice that way. Keep in mind, um, let's say something takes an hour, but during this event, because it's faster, it only takes 45 minutes. It still takes the same amount of energy to rush the entire thing. So if it takes 500 energy to rush that at an hour, it still takes 500 at 45 minutes, but it'll just go down, you know, as a percentage of the total. I hope that makes sense. Next one is loot frenzy. Um, so when you send people out on quests and they're, they're getting components from those quests. So you can see that here. Um, so obviously you send people out to this and they're going to get 18 to 31 during this event. <clears throat> excuse me um they're gonna get 25 percent more so rather than it saying 18 to 31 it'll say you know 30 to 50 or whatever the amount is and so you getting components a lot easier is really nice and it'll make components in the market quite a bit cheaper as well because everyone is able to do that uh together three more i want to mention we're almost done uh energy bonus so as you know so from your counter here the higher uh, level of counter that you have, the more energy that you get from each sale. So mine is max energy and I get 30. So let's look at something like this. As you can see, when I when I sell this item, like I will right now, it says zero energy up at the top. When I sell, I get 30 energy from that. And so essentially in this event, you get double. So if I have a max counter, I get 60 energy for every sale. Let's say yours is 15 energy. Then you'll get 30 energy per sale. So it just makes it a little bit easier to get through things and gives you a free boost of energy. It's not the best event, but it's nice. Next one is merchant uh, experience. So as you can see down here, I'm level 77 and I need another 1.4 billion experience to level up or 1.3 billion. Wow, 1.2. Math is off today. It's okay. And so this just means that each item that you sell gives you additional 25% XP, which is nice. And the last one is hero XP. And so um, obviously when you send heroes on quests and they complete them, they get amount of experience. And um, for me, it's not a huge deal because I just have a bunch of level 40 heroes, although I just got some new ones uh, that probably just came out um for rolling those but i'm excited to show you guys how those uh turned out which i'll probably do tomorrow um so this just makes it a little bit easier to level up your heroes which is great so last thing i want to mention is that there's actually a really cool resource and tons of community resources around this um, a page that mentions all of the events and explains them in detail so if you guys are wondering about them or have questions i'll link that in the description and so you can go check that out there and if you have any questions of course reach out and ask and i'll, I'll hopefully be able to help you out especially because each of these events affects the market differently and you're able to take advantage of it so if you I mean, a lot of it's self-explanatory, but if you have any specific questions, I'm happy to help out with that. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. And if you need anything or have suggestions for videos, questions, whatever, um, I'm around and happy to help. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much.